Hi, welcome to my music review blog. This is number three. Um, and happy Valentine's Day. Today's Valentine's Day. Friday, February 14th. So, uh, today I actually am going to, well, tonight I'm actually really excited. I'm going to go see Pokey Lafarge um, outside of the Art History Museum, or History Museum. They're separate buildings. Um, so, anyway, uh, I saw these, I saw this band's, um, I think it was December, and um, it kind of wraps in Valentine's Day because I was I was dating someone I was dating someone at the time and I had never heard of this band and the guys took me to the show and it ended up being awesome and you know, I'm a super fan so I'm excited to see them again tonight and uh, I guess validate that the first time was so good <laughs> so I'm excited about that Happy Valentine's Day. Um, so anyway, but I wanted to tell you about the first experience because, um, it wasn't just the band, it was also the venue that the band played in, um, which is, like, like, located just within the Missouri State Lions on Iowa Avenue, um, and it's called, like, Casa Luma Ballroom, something very obscure. And uh, I had never heard of it. And I've lived, I've lived here in the city for six years. So for me, I felt like I'd at least heard of everything. If I hadn't been there, at least heard of it. So anyway. Like I said, it's in this uh, oldish building. Kind of reminds me of like a... 1920 era like movie theater with um, a bunch of doors all on the front and I don't know. So anyway, um, you walk in and you're kind of corralled up the stairwell onto the second floor and then it just, it's, it's massive. It's just huge, this area and the dance floor is probably the biggest dance floor I've ever seen. And there was still additional room on the outsides of the dance floor for enough like tables and chairs for people to sit comfortably. Um, it was big, it was really big. Um, then they had a second floor balcony, um, which hosted again additional seating, awesome views. Um, there wasn't really a bad view in that place. Um, of course, they had additional bars up there and things like that, so you didn't have to go down to the first floor. Um, but what struck me a little bit was how much this kind of looked like, because um, because the whole room was kind of shaped in like this oval kind of. Um, can't really make a very good oval. Anyway, and an oval shape that somehow reminded me of like the Titanic how that giant ballroom like I could just see anyway so that was that was my take on it oh and it was Christmas time so there were lights galore as well as you know decorations and holly hung and very Christmassy so um we had kind of perched out in, on the second, on the second tier, um, the balcony area, which was cool because it gave you were able to look down upon like the dance floor and like the people down there, and I was really interested to see sort of uh, what kind of crowd that this show would bring, and because um, I had heard of them. But definitely they are a 1920s inspired deep bluegrass. This is damn near a replica of history. <laughs> and they're very good at it. Which is um, 
always important. So we're standing on the second tier and, you know, Pokey Lafarge, who is playing in the background as of this entire podcast, um, they're playing and they're good. Um, they're very much dressed the part. Uh, it's a lot like seeing Adam Ant at Plush and they were all dressed as pirates. Uh, Pokey Lafarge, you know, has the total, uh, he's... He plays the part very well. He's this tall, thin, almost gallowy looking guy, dark, slick, coiffed hair, and you know, and then the clothing just match uh, the era and, pers- and personification of what they were going for. He had the straight leg jeans on because he's very thin. Straight leg jeans on and, you know, suspenders and I think my at first had a sports coat or something along those lines, but, um, played the part. So, this made me very curious as to what, like, like, how the crowd would be and the probably coolest and shocking thing to find out about this Pokey Lafarge following is that these people actually believe, like, in this lifestyle. I mean, kind of, like, I don't know, maybe they're just having fun with it for a night, but they did it pretty good. (laughs) I mean, we're talking, you know, these guys, these grizzled beards and overalls and I don't know what's that paper towel the brawny guy kind of kind of the brawny guy and then you had the chicks there was a lot of long plaid skirts denim button ups I think I was just wearing t-shirt a t-shirt and jeans and probably chucks because <laughs> who knows what to go anyway so this is the scene uh, most people are involved in uh, kind of the portrayal that this is what someone would do on a Friday night would be to go and listen to a band like this and dress in this way. And they danced. Definitely, that that was fun. It was almost going to like a country square dance thing, kind of. Anyway, so I'm excited to see, to see what tonight brings. I don't know. I don't know how that will be. Cause it is outdoors. Let's check the weather. I don't think it's supposed to be the warmest night in the world. 20. 21 degrees. Well, I'll have to uh, bundle up very well and uh, get back to you later as to my second viewing of Pokey Lafarge and uh, uh, how, I, how I feel like they did in my always humble opinion. Happy Valentine's Day, guys.